Hello and welcome to the world of NDE 4.0. My name is Johannes Frana and today is a great day because today we will start this journey, this YouTube channel, this journey into collaboration. And at the end, you will see why I say journey into collaboration. But you already see it in the title of the, this YouTube channel that this ch channel is about NDE. In the E4.0. So perhaps first things first, let's discuss what is NDE. Now, to my experience, and now have about 15 years of experience in NDE, nobody outside of NDE knows what NDE is about. But I think it's critical that more people learn about what NDE is about and that more people know what it is about. So let's get started. So what I did is I actually Googled NDE and I did that in Germany. And the first hit I get is Neustadt Dürkhammer Eisenbahngesellschaft. So trains, no, sorry, I'm really sorry. We are not talking about trains today. So if you're looking for a channel about trains, I guess you have to look somewhere else. This channel is also not about near-death experience. That's about the second hit you get. And then somewhere third or fourth, you will actually find what it's, I will be talking about here. And that's non-destructive evaluation or non-destructive material testing. And most of you will still say, what's that? But most of you will also know what it is because it is X-ray and it's ultrasonics and it's methods like that, but not about applied on the human body, like you get it from a radiologist, but applied on a technical component, like a forging, a casting, a welding. So on components and on joints, like a weld. Um, now, this name non-destructive testing or non-destructive evaluation already has two terms to it. It's non-destructive and materials testing. Now, perhaps you have heard about materials testing. What do they do in materials testing and the classical materials testing? They somehow cycle material until it breaks. And they learn from it some material properties which they can put into their fracture mechanics calculations and calculate how long a product will live. But you can only do that on samples which you break. So you have then to transfer it from that one sample to all your components you actually have in production. Now, here comes the non-destructive. What we do, we use methods like ultrasonics and X-ray to look inside of the component without destroying them. And therefore, because we do not destroy them, we actually can test every single component. We can do a complete testing of the serial production and make safe that there is nothing inside of those components or joints, which will later on actually cause a failure. So, it's about making your product more safe. Um, now, there are not only those two methods, ultrasonics and X-ray, but that's just the two everybody knows. There is a bunch more of technologies. For example, there are some which are really focused on the surface. X-ray and ultrasonics, they go into the material. For example, with ultrasonics, you can easily find a one millimeter big imperfection in a 20 meter large forging in steel. No problem at all. And we will come to that point later. But there are also components where it's more critical that you find actually imperfections close to the surface. And for those, you have different methods. Some are like thermography, dye penetrant testing, uh, magnetic particle testing, and however they might be called. And so this is the one thing 
in the upcoming videos in this YouTube channel, we will be talking about all those different testing methods. I will show to you the basics of all those different methods, and then we'll also get into the more enhanced data processing ways you can do for those methods, like computer tomography or something called SAFT. So I guess you're curious what SAFT is, but you will have to wait a little bit. So now, what do I plan for this YouTube channel? And if there's something in addition, please write it down here in the, sub, uh, in your co in the comments. Um, what I currently plan for this YouTube channel is I want to show you the basi basics of all those different NDE methods. And you already saw in the title this 4.0. And you also see it here in my background. So what's all that about? Now, if you think about Industry 4.0, all those emerging technologies like industrial internet of things, digital twin, uh, artificial intelligence, augmented reality, however they might be called. And there is a bunch of them around. They are all really interesting. And they're, what do they all have in common? They're all data centric. It's about collecting data, analyzing data, um, visualizing data. So it's all about data. And that data is then used to improve the design, to improve the production, and to improve products. And which data is currently used? Mostly it's data from single sensors, data coming out of some manufacturing machines, um, data from ERP or MES systems. Um, but there is one data source which I think most of the people forget about, and that's non-destructive testing. Most likely because they even don't know what non-destructive testing is about. And so I think people have to learn what non-destructive testing or evaluation is about and how it can be used actually as a data source for Industry 4.0 to get a better feedback about the components with the view we can provide inside of those components. Um, but we can also turn this whole situation around. We can also use those emerging technologies to actually enhance NDE. So for example, using artificial intelligence to improve the data processing of the results of non-destructive testing and getting to better results. So we will talk about all of this. We will talk about first the industrial and the NDE revolutions so that we get a baseline. Then we will be talking about all of those emerging technologies. And I will discuss about all the common ones. I will perhaps also discuss a few ones which you wouldn't normally put together with Industry 4.0. Then we will talk about how NDE can help to improve Industry 4.0. And we will also talk about how the merging technologies can improve NDE. Now, so now we have two parts. We will have all those NDE methods and we have the combination of NDE and Industry 4.0 and actually how those two grow together. How industry and NDE grow together and one is becoming one of the most important data sources for the other. Then I will also be inviting guest speakers, guest presentations. If I find something interesting for this channel, I will invite them to record a presentation. We will put it online here. You will get the chance to ask questions. And finally, me, the person who was giving the presentation, will be discussing your questions. So that perhaps you get a better idea, number one, of the presentation, and number two, perhaps you can learn something in addition. Perhaps we can even, yeah, work on your challenges. And actually, not only for those guest presentations, if you have questions, please write them down in the comment section. Because, yeah, we will be discussing or I will be discussing those questions. 
and I will see that I get answers for you. So I guess now you've got quite of a picture, number one, what NDE is about, and number two, what this YouTube channel will be about. So this whole Industry 4.0 and NDE 4.0 is about data, but it's not only about data. It's about collaboration. It's about collaboration between different research institutes, by different companies, different nations. All of us have to work together to come to the final goal. And I think Industry 4.0 is kind of a goal or a way towards a goal. And whether we can all reach it or not, that's a different story. And whether actually the goal will change in the future, it's also a different story, but we all need to work together. One company alone will not be able to solve it. It has to be the collaboration. And that's why I say we start this journey into collaboration on this channel. So thank you for watching this introduction to my channel to this channel, to our channel. And I will put some more details down in the description, also some papers I already wrote and some additional literature you might be interested in. And I hope that we will subscribe to this channel and that we will see, see us soon. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Thank you. Bye.